<laughs> okay. Now I want to talk about the biblical support to motivate people to serve God and love God and have a good relationship with God. Kakati njagala kuogera koko koko kujigiza ya Bible kukuyamba abantu okuba okuba yambo kuwele sakatonda. Now you can write these verses down. Wani kenye lizi no one see. It's like a house. I I have a model of a house. Ah. And on top of the house, it says, "Kunyumba kuliko echipe chigamba." Everything is in God's hand, and no one can run away from Him. Kati kuwe nyumba ne kubati gamba brichidu chona chetweta ga kubati yochiri mukatonda elatwalu wala wenza chisanga. And then on the right hand side, when we love God and obey Him. Will be blessed. Kakati kumkono ogwadio ogwadio chigambanti wetuwa gala katonda netu mugondela chijia kutubelela bulonji. And then at the bottom when we serve God, God will reward us. Katiatewa wansi no government wetuwe reza katonda katonda jatu ajatu la biomukisa. And on the left hand side, kakati wa kubwa kono. When we sin or when we or when we don't have a good relationship with God, there will be destruction. And then at the bottom, when we don't serve God, there's also destruction. So the point is everything is in God's hand and no one can run away from him. He can see everyone's heart and action. Even now when you're sitting here, Nakatingo today. He knows your heart. He knows how eager you are to learn. And he knows how sincere I am when I say this. Do I just say like a sermon? Do I just say it as a sermon? Or do I say it really from my heart, really want people to to follow God. God sees our hearts. No one can run away from Him. Do you believe that we cannot run away from Him? And then on the right side, when we have a good relationship with Him and obey Him, He will bless us. That's from the Bible, right? And then when we serve God, He'll reward us. When we don't have a good relationship with Him and sin, there must be there will be destruction. And when we don't serve God, there is also destruction. Now when you look at this, what is the natural response to God? What would be the natural response? This side or that side? Right side or left side? Uh, uh, the right side or left side? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So I hope now this is very simple. You know, God can seize everything in our life. So we can encourage people. God sees everything. So to zema abantu amani inti katonda la beri tu biona. Some people think I just commit adultery. Abantu baloza anayenze in secret. Muchama. No one sees that. Tewali achiraba. But God sees it. Ne katonda alaba. And God knows the heart whether the person is really repentant. Katonda amani no mutima go muntu badala yetonze. If he just say. God forgive me, but in his heart is not repentant. God knows it. Let me ask you. God can see your heart right now and all these days. Does God see a very faithful heart, a heart that loves God, or a heart that is always worried and afraid and weak? Do you know where you are? And are you happy with where you are now? 
And do you want to go higher? And do you think it's possible? It's not very hard at all. Because when you cannot do it, you say, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, please forgive me. Now, really saying, Lord, in my heart, I'm sorry for it. And then, Lord, help me. Forgive me. Give me strength. And God will be very happy. And every step we take, that's why Jesus said when you you know give a cup of cold water to a little one you will not lose your reward so any step you take to follow God God is very happy God will not say you're not good enough yet God will say to a you know a strong spiritual man or a little child when a strong spiritual man say Lord I love you or when a little child say Jesus I love you Jesus is happy with both Jesus will not say to a little kid, wait until you are strong, very spirit, strong spiritually. Whatever level we are, when we really love God, God is very happy. Okay, now I'm going to give you these verses very quickly. Psalm 24, now this is about the first part, everything is in God's hand. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all who live in it. All who live in it includes us. So everyone who lives on earth belongs to God. We belong to God. We cannot run away from Him. And then Revelation 2.23, the second part, then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deed. So God will search our hearts and mind. He knows how we are. And he repays each one of us according to how we respond to him. Now from this we can see the nature of God. Remember I always talk about God's nature? Here his nature is he is almighty. Everything, everything is in God's hand. And even a heart which is hidden from other people. He has ability to see. And he knows and remembers what's in our inside the heart and he is a generous God when we do anything for him he will remember it and he will bless us richly okay and then John 1911 when Pontius Pilate said to him he said, why don't you answer me? Because you, I have the power to set you free or crucify you. But, but Jesus answered, you, have, you would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Now, 
singa sito wafuna manji kufa jendi elato wandi bade uh, pilato now in, G, in Pontius Pilate's eyes he has all the power and he thinks that Jesus has no power but in Jesus' eyes, he see the reality. If not for the power given to him from above, he has no power to sit there at all. So Jesus knows that God is in full control. Even government have no final authority. Okay, on the right hand side, following and obeying God will bring blessings. Matthew 6.33 but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you. So okay, now we won't explain fully because of time. And then Psalm 34, 10. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord uh -huh. lack no good thing. <laughs> the lions are very strong. But they can grow weak and hungry. But when we seek the Lord, we lack no good thing. All the good thing will be given to us. And Genesis 39 2. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered. Now Joseph was sold to Egypt. Yusuf yatundibwa emisiri. Imagine you if you were sold to Egypt what would happen to you? Boku amaka fana nyisinga watundibwa emisiri ucheche ande kutuseko. Almost everyone would complain. Bulimuntie na abali wano twandi badde twe mulugunya. And complain to God and say you did not save me. Ngatuga amba mukamo hizo tyo kunde ka koni na mpamba na antwala. And we give up on the relationship with God. When he is far from any child of God. Now if one day if you were persecuted. And you are put in a place that there is no other Christians around you. Can you still keep the relationship with God? But Joseph kept his relationship with God. So he must have taken care of his anger. Not only that, he kept the relationship with God in a very high level. And the Lord must be happy with him and he prospered in everything he did. And then John chapter 15 verse Five. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in it, in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. So when we are in him, then we will bear fruit. Because apart from Jesus, we can do nothing. Okay. So that's the right hand side, the first block. And then the next block on the bottom. Serving God will bring reward. Mark nine forty one. Mark nine forty one. Truly I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of cold water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose the reward. Okay, 
So Jesus here makes it easy for us. Is it easy to give a cup of cold water? Do you have the ability to do it? So when you do it because this person is a Christian, you will not lose your reward. So Jesus is making it easy for us. Jesus is not saying, you bring someone to me and then I will reward you. Because to bring someone to Jesus is harder. So Jesus used a Talk about a simple thing everyone can do. Yes, So what it says is that anything you do for Jesus, no matter how small or big, God is very happy. And I hope you won't say, well, then I just give a cup of cold water and that's it. And I told Gamba Bugainti Namuyangi Chawe de Chicho Nakomi. I hope you will say, God is a generous God. If God gives rewards, He doesn't just give you a little pencil in heaven. He will give you a big gift. Now, in the book of Revelation, it talked about there is a 144,000 who follow Jesus wherever he goes. And it says, Now, these people, in their mouth, there's no lies. And they are pure and holy. You might say, well, that's very hard. But in First uh, Corinthians chapter 15, Paul said, how will our body be in the future in heaven? You can go home and read chapter 15, First Corinthians. And then Paul said, there is the heaven earthly body and the heavenly body. And in the heavenly body, there is the sun, the moon, and stars. And in the stars, there is a once the glory of one star is different from the glory of another star. And then he said, so will your body be when you rise from the dead. What it means is that one day when we rise from the dead, according to our relationship with God and how we obey God, because the Bible says it's according to our deeds. Now let me say this, we are saved by grace through faith. Not by works. And we don't earn God's love by works. But the Bible does say that when we are judged, we are judged by our work. The works will prove what kind of life we have. Uh, and first Corinthians chapter 3 talk about all our works will be tested and tested with fire some will be like gold, silver and precious stone but some will be wood and stubble, uh, hay and stubble. Some will be burned away. And each one will be reward, rewarded according to what you do. So one day, some will be like, some Christians in heaven will be like, 
or like the sun and some will be like the moon and some will be like the bright stars some will be like the dim stars ntiorusi ntiwona kulumu abamu kuba krista yomla ya kubanga kamunye nyakata ya kabala kamunye nyakaka umla labenga mwezo kwa kenyo umla labenga asimera but some people might say well i don't care much about brightness in heaven abantu abamu bagamba we bamunye nze kastantu kamuguru sifayo bandi kamunye nye kataya kanyo sifayo some people might say so long as i'm in heaven that's enough already boy anze kastamba ngenda mugure cho chimala now in exodus chapter 33 mo okuva esule asa tumwesatu Moses asked something very special from God. Musa yasabe chintu eche unyiso kuveri katonda. He said to God, please show me your glory. Yasaba mukama na mukama ndaga echitiwa cho. And then God said, okay, what you ask for is not easy, but I will do it for you. Katona naga manjicho sabi sicha angune inge nda chikolera. There is a crack, you stand there. When I pass by you, I put my hand on you. And God answered Moses. When my goodness or mercy pass by you. Instead of answering my glory, he answered my grace and mercy. And then God will cover him when he comes by. And then after God passed by, he lift off his hand and then Moses can see the back of the glory of God. What it tells us is that this is the, you know, the glory of God has his love and mercy and goodness in it. Chagezako tuka manji, sacha katonda, chirimu, chitiwa chamu kama chirimu echisa, no kusasira. That is, when, you know, that he said that, when my goodness, my mercy pass by you. Checho shariya tegeza wa yaga manji noti, e obrunji wange nechi sacha nge wina api itako. So in heaven, when we are, in heaven, some are very bright and some are not so bright. The one who are very bright are filled with the glory of God. And filled with the love of God. They'll be overwhelmed by the love of God. So in heaven, the experience of different people are different. Some people will be super filled with the love of God. But of course in heaven, you know, even the lowest one is very good. But let me tell you, this is forever and ever. By how you live your life in this few decades on earth here, you determine how you will be forever and ever and ever. Whether you'll be filled with the love of God so overwhelmingly in heaven depends on how you love God and serve God on earth here. Now the Bible, you know, it talks about, I told you, this 144,000 in heaven. And also talk about another 144,000 of, uh, of the Israelites. And there are also countless people in white robe from all nations. So in heaven there are these three groups of people. And I believe that in each of these groups there are subgroups. There are groups closer to God and there are groups not so close to God. Now let me ask you, 
Do you care about eternity? Do you want to come so close to God? That His love is so powerful and strong and so overwhelming. Do you want that? And also, you bring more people in the glory of God. Okay. Okay. Um, shall one come, be... come, take a mic. Okay, in, uh, in regard to what you're saying, will, will one be aware of the difference? Of course. Yeah. In heaven, we are, of the difference. in heaven, we have more awareness there than here. Let me interpret that. Okay, sir. Okay. Now, okay. 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 Will you become like a rock and you really don't know the difference, you know? <laughs> Sometimes we don't even know Now let me call you some people who share what they experienced when they go to heaven and came back. Now these are just reference. What they experience is just a reference. We cannot treated as revelation from God. Kakati kamba mule kukubantu wa bako ogena kwa ntibari wa genze kwa mguru na eto mituwala no ganti bibo ogena kwa mazima kwa noko bede debe no tako beda baibuli. They said that when they go to heaven baga mandu wa ituka mguru they become aware of everything they've done in this whole lifetime. Mbe chisoka cheba soko ukulaba vela vanga baba sukari baba baby nusu nusu baby nusu nusu baby nusu nusu and even some people who died shortly and then God took them back. And suddenly they were able to look at the whole lives from uh, from baby, from infancy to the last day of life. And suddenly they realized how you know how the sins are terrible and how they've done some things for God. In on earth here, our awareness is not very clear. It's blocked. That's why Paul said we are facing like a mirror because in those days the mirrors are not like a mirrors. It's metal mirrors. <laughs> Uh, and one day we'll see God face to face. And we'll be more aware of ourselves. In okay. Now, um, And then Matthew 25, verse 23. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Uh, so God knows everything we have done for him. When we have been good and faithful servants, and God knows it, and he'll reward them. Now, here it says that I'll put you in charge of many things. So in heaven there will be rankings. Some people will be in charge of more things. 
But some people may say, well, I have, I have worked too much already. I don't need more work in heaven. But I fully believe that serving God is the best. When you're serving in heaven like kings, it's very different. That you enjoy the ministry in heaven. And also come and share your master's happiness. That in heaven is full of joy. Okay, now on the left hand side, when we, when we sin and don't have a good relationship with God, there's always destruction. Galatians 6 8. Whoever sows to please the first from first from the first will reap destruction. Any sin we have committed will always bring destruction. Whether it is adultery or anger or sadness or worry all this makes the life difficult on earth and also God will not be pleased with our life Almighty God is the one in charge of everything let me use an earthly comparison when you go to work in your place of work do you like your boss to dislike you? You don't like him to dislike you, right? Yeah. When you're at home, do you like your parents to dislike you? So when you go to heaven, do you like God to dislike you? So when a person sins intentionally, he's reaping, he's reaping destruction. And John 5.14, Jesus said to the man, he of 38 years of sickness. The last, the last part, stop sinning or something worse may happen to you. Now, have you seen some people's life go down? You know, their finance is destroyed. Family is destroyed. But you see some people, their life go higher and higher. Have you met someone whose life is destroyed? Some people has no family. No friends. It's not happy. Full of sickness. Do you want to live like that? That's a consequence when people fall in sin. And then John 15 verse 6. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and wither. Such branches are picked up, thrown in the fire and burned. So if a person doesn't have a close relationship with God, the worst is he can be cut off from God and thrown into the fire. But Jesus said this fire is this fire heaven. Is it heaven? It's not heaven. Fire is always hell. Throwing the fire here. Now the here the reason is because the person doesn't have a good relationship with Jesus. Because the person doesn't have a good relationship with Jesus. 
Now, we are not saved by doing good. But we, when we don't have a good relationship with God, we don't obey God, or don't serve God, it means that there is something wrong with the faith. When there is something wrong with the faith, there is disruption from small disruption to large disruption in hell. Okay. Now the last one, not bearing fruit will bring destruction and could lose salvation. In Matthew 25, there are three parables of the last days. And the second parable is about three servants, one with five talents, one with two talents, one with one talent. And then the one with the one talent buried the talent and did not use it. And then in verse 26, his master replied, You wicked, lazy servant. And in verse 30, Throw that worst, worthless servant outside into the darkness. Where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So three people there will be crying. And gnashing the teeth. Is that heaven? And, and then verse 45 to 46. Whatever you did for one for one of the you did not do for one of the little ones, you did not do for me, then they will go away into eternal punishment but the righteous to eternal life. Yes, we are going so in this last parable of the goat and the sheep, the sheep are the ones who have done good to the little ones, and that is to Jesus. And they will go into eternal life. The ones who did not do it to the little ones will go into eternal punishment. We are not saved by serving God. But if a person doesn't serve God, it shows that his faith has problem. And a person can go to hell. Let me ask you, how many people serve God in the church? Now let me tell you, serving God is not just serving in a Worship team, uh, serving in teaching, preaching, it's not just this. It is the serving God is also caring for people, worship, welcoming them, helping them, praying for them. Whatever you do with a real heart of loving God, God will reward you. But Jesus also said in Matthew 7, 21 to 23. 7, 21 to 23. Okay, Matthew. He said that on that day, many will say to them, I have preached in your name, I have cast out demons in your name, and I have done miracles in your name. And they will say, 
And Jesus said, you wicked ones, I don't know you. Why doesn't God know these ones who serve God? Because they were not serving God with the right attitude. And they were in sin and not repentant. What I mean is, when, when we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus as our Savior and love God and want to do something for God and love people and want to do things for people then God will reward them. But those who, you know, Superficially believe in Jesus. They might be superficially doing some ministry in church. But some will be doing it for their own glory. Or for money. Or with selfish desire. When they don't have real faith, when their life doesn't have the, you know, Jesus said, you know, not only he who says, my Lord, Lord, can enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father in heaven. So these people who don't do the will of heaven, of God, in heaven, then Jesus said, I don't know you. Yesu nagamba siba mani. So now you see the left side and the right side are very different, right? No zamuna ba okumkono guadio no guakono bintu biangia ulo. And the main thing is everything is in God's hand. No one can run away. Tere ya inza kutuka. Now some people think they are smarter than God. I'll do it in the last moment of my life. When I'm very old. But when they have this attitude, it's a disrespect for God. No one can run away from him on this roof. So when we have a good relationship with him and obey him, and serve him, there will be blessings and rewards. But when we don't, there is destruction and could lose salvation. But we are not saved by doing good. We are saved by trusting in Jesus as our Savior. But when we trust in Jesus as our Savior, then our life will show the difference. So this is for encouraging you and for you to encourage other people to love God and obey God and serve God. What I want to say is this. There is no other alternative. That's the only way to live and enjoy life on earth and forever. Now some people say, well, I just believe in Jesus a little bit. I follow the world mostly. And I want to say that any way we're not following God that will bring destruction. For, for instance, you don't like your family members. You don't like the people in the church. You don't like to help people or you're unhappy all this the destruction is much bigger than the sin for instance if someone says I only have 10% sins the 10% will bring Disruption to more than 10% of your life. And you see that in the kingdom of God, 
There are some people who really enjoy God. But there are some people who always are weak. And they find life difficult. So, these two ways, which way do you want to go? We always say, God is here. He's blessing me. I can rejoice in the Lord. I can enjoy God. Anything I do for Him, He's very happy. And then all every day is easy for you. And full of joy and strength. But if you choose adultery, hatred of people, just living for money, any kind of disruption to people, all these have serious consequences. I hope you all will say, which side do you want to go? Right side. right side. Right side. Now there are ways people go on the right side. Some people go like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah. Yeah. Very slow. Yeah. 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 Very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. But some people say, yes, I want to do my best. Yeah. This is wise. Because God will reward you greatly. And your whole life will be full of energy. People go, you know, too reluctant to go. Actually, are letting sin to hold them back. Okay, let us close with the prayer, please. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. Tata to Kwebaza, that to Sima. You're so wonderful. And your father is so wonderful. Era no kukubera chirunji. Oh Lord Jesus, you see our hearts. Olave mitima jafe. We cannot run away from you. And everything we do for you, you see and you reward. Thank you, Jesus. In you there is abundance of goodness. Oh Lord Jesus, we want to follow you. You are the best to us. With you we have everything. Lord, help us to put down all our burdens. All our sins. All our worries. And follow God wholeheartedly. And with joy. Oh, strengthen us, Lord. Give us strength to follow you. Give us strength to love you. Help us to be faithful. Help us to enjoy you. You're right here now. Would you just say, Lord, please help me? Me. Give me strength. And God is happy to give us strength. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, do you feel encouraged? Oh, see this. Oh, this is Do you follow? Will you follow Jesus' way? Yes. And it's the best. Yes. Now, let me say this. Every time you deal, deal, do a little thing for Jesus, but it said I walk on the chain to Christ the Chirundi. Now, now I'm, I'm saying this not because we become proud, but we say Jesus is happy with me. So get a chino chikubango wa or we yo get a koina marala never walk on the Christ the Chirundi Chirundi. We say mo amani yogambe Yesu ansanyuki. Not in a proud way. Simungere ya marala. But to say Jesus remembers it. And you reward me. And when you pray to God, you say God is very happy to bless me. That way you'll be encouraged every day. That you won't be saying, Oh, I'm not good enough. Then you won't say, Oh, it's too hard. 
But everything we do for Jesus, He's very happy. That way you are positively encouraged to follow God. And then God can lift you up to a higher level. One day you can strengthen people's spiritual life. And maybe one day you can bring different teachings to different places to encourage them, build them up. If you have this heart, you watch my videos on YouTube and look for Pastor YIP, you can learn from me and then you know, it will change your life. But and you can bless many people. God bless you.